Well, you are looking at my home, an old ambulance. And here in Phoenix in the summertime, it is miserable inside this box, even with a ceiling fan or a vent. It's about it's supposed to be 108 today in Phoenix. Um, it, this little thermometer in here shows 107. So it's pretty miserable. Uh, you can't be in here during the day or even at night, it's just too hot. So I'm gonna try something different. Um, I know some people put um, air conditioning units on the roof of their RVs and vans or in a window. Um, but that takes a lot of power and eventually I want to get this van completely you know off off grid type situation with solar um, or a generator and a good battery bank um, so I want to use something to cool the inside that does not require a lot of energy um, and here in Phoenix or in here in Arizona it's not a lot of humid or humidity um, it's pretty dry so I'm going to try an evaporative cooler. Um, this is a portable one. It's a small one, uh, but it should be able to cool the inside. Now, some of the specs on this, uh, 1300 cubic, cubic feet per minute, cooling area 500 square feet, 4.8 gallons of water. Um, it's, it's a two speed. It also has a fan function and it's not very tall. It's in the box right now, but it's about 28 inches high and the weight is 16 pounds. Uh, you can manually fill water. You can hook up a hose if you're someplace where you can do that. And it's got a handle on the top, a water level display and wheels that you can put on the bottom if you wish. So I am going to set this up. Um, this is something you can buy at most hardware stores or online. This one uh, came from Amazon. And uh, I'm gonna set it up, get it running, and see if I can cool the interior um, from the 107 degrees it is right now. Okay, it is 108 outside. I'm here in Phoenix. Uh, it's supposed to reach 111 today. Um, currently inside my vehicle it is 100. right around 88 degrees and I've got the evaporative cooler running on its highest speed um, it has two settings or two speeds for the uh, when you're using it as an evaporative cooler. It has two speeds just as a fan. And then you can also set it where it just runs the water through the, uh, through the unit. I'm not sure why you would do that unless you just wanted to run water for a little bit to, to get the pads to soak up that water before you turn on the fan. So it is comfortable, especially if you're sitting like where I am right in front of the unit. Um, and you can see my dogs down there. She's laying there. She likes to lay down there so she can look out that window. Um, but also because it's right in front of the fan as well, the cooler, and it keeps her cool. I do have the windows covered mostly for, and the side window covered as well. The front cab the front cab, I've got all the windows covered in there, and they're cracked a little bit. Um, both side windows are cracked a little bit open to let some air flow through. And then you can see the opening right here in this door, the slide door, that is open also halfway to let warm air and dry air come through into the, the unit. Um, I also have the fan. the uh, fan up there, the max fan, blowing at about 20% um, 
actually it's not blowing down but it's sucking air out and that's just also to create more of an airflow in here uh, let the hot air that might have built up up there you know suck it out so um, it's comfortable 88 degrees you know in in Phoenix is nice um, it was cooler of course earlier but as the day warms up you know the interior will also warm up a little bit as well um, so it seems like right now it's cooling at about 20 degrees cooler than the outside air the outside temperature um, now some of the drawbacks of course with an evaporative cooler are that you have to have water um, so unless you have a hose hooked up to this which you can on the side of it but if you're in a vehicle like this, there's really no way to run a hose from a, you know, from a water spigot. Um, so you ha I ha instead have to just keep checking the uh, little level down here and make sure I have enough water. So that's one drawback of an, ap an evaporative cooler compared to a, you know, a regular air conditioning unit you might put on the roof or um, on a window, maybe one of those portable air conditioning units. Um, those you don't have to you know watch the water level another drawback of course is it makes the air a little more humid um, which isn't that big of a deal and here in Phoenix because it's pretty dry <clears throat> but it does add a lot of moisture to the air I kind of like it um, as long as it's cool moisture um, and that's a you know also you have to make sure you're in a climate that is dry to use an evaporative cooler uh, they don't work too well where it's really humid so um, that's really the you know the water the humidity those are the big drawbacks you of course right now I've got it hooked up to shore power um, and uh, but this unit is a small unit it doesn't draw a lot as far as electricity or, or, or wattage um, so once I have a, a a good solar system set up you know on the roof and the battery banks and everything I probably can run this off solar I think it uses or it does use quite a bit less electricity than a regular air conditioner that has the you know the fan the compressor motor and all that running um, so I'm pretty pleased with it it's uh, when I'm not using it, I'll be able to kind of turn it to the side and put it up against the side here, um, just below the hats there. I'll probably put it, set it up with some bungee cords so that it won't move around when I'm driving. Um, and, you know, I, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's comfortable in here. Um, I can sit out here and work on my computer, hang out with the dog. And once I have solar, I'll be able to use it, you know, off grid or someplace, you know, where I don't have shore power to plug into. So I'm happy with it uh, for the price. You know, it's a good deal. This is the Hess Air. I think it's MC18, uh, one of the smaller units that uh, is made for mostly outdoors and like a garage or shop. Uh, but it works in here if you have it set up right with enough airflow um, and it's made for about 500 square feet so that's plenty for this little space in here so I'm gonna get back to work on the laptop and hope wherever you are you're staying cool and having a good summer